Hi, I wanted to take a moment here to take a look at Maslow's needs. This was a concept that was developed in 1954, and recently it's been expanded on to include several other levels in the hierarchy of needs. Essentially what this theory is talking about is that in order to reach our maximum potential as cognitive, as physical, as spiritual individuals, we have to meet certain needs first before we can get to the top. Here on the original hierarchy of needs, it begins with the physiological needs. That's just basic food, we need air, we need water, we need um, physical needs. Our physical needs are met. Once that is satisfied, we can move on to safety needs. Things like being unafraid of the law, being unafraid of fear, being unafraid of our own personal safety, of our things and our possessions being taken away. Then we can begin looking at a social respect. How do we work with each other is love and friendship and those kind of relationships that we have with other people. Once we become safe and secure in our own self, that's when we're really able to become healthy with others. It goes up to esteem, not just working with others and being loved by others, but getting good feelings with others and giving good feelings, making sure that we are working together as a team and that we understand that our value in society is is high, that we have respect, that we are good at what we do. And only then can we reach the self-actualization point, which is the peak of, of the hierarchy of needs. This was changed uh, fairly recently in the last 20 years, I, I guess maybe last 10 years, and it includes um, a couple other levels like the cognitive needs. Above esteem, once you become uh, comfortable with your position in, in life and with your respect to other people, then you can start focusing on your cognitive needs, like um, your need to, to learn, your need to understand the way things work. And there was actually one above self-actualization that was recently put in, transcendence, which is essentially, can you help others reach their hierarchy of needs? Can you help other people get to self-actualization? And if you can, then you're at the transcendence point. So just a couple of um, points that I thought were interesting about the hierarchy of needs. In uh, the self-actualization, which is uh, you know the peak of the hierarchy of needs, most people that have reached that point exhibit certain qualities. They have um, an unusual humor. They uh, forego most traditional approaches, and they, they try new things. They have spontaneous thought and actions. Um, their routines, they like to shake them up. They like to try new things. Um, and and they, they essentially have a, a different outlook on life. They see um, life as more creative and less of a, um, as a, an assembly line where people are lined up and having to go through doing the same thing. They don't put people in boxes. Um, and if they do put people in boxes, the boxes are very, very large. And that's only because there is a certain amount of structure needed to, to become self-actualized. Um, some of the, the things that you can do to become self-actualized um, is to make sure that you reach all the other all the other needs but to really reflect on yourself take some time look at the democratic approach um, how how everybody's opinion matters and it isn't just your opinion um, it isn't just my opinion it's it's how I work with other people and making sure that the other people also are meeting their needs although transcendence is a new idea in the in the beginning Maslow kind of put transcendence in the self-actualization. As a person who understands themselves very deeply, you understand that you you have this obligation to help others meet their needs. Otherwise, uh, you can't be the wisest man on the block. Everybody has to, to be some sort of part of, of the wisdom. Otherwise, there's, there's no point in being wise at all. So that was just an interesting um, look on Maslow's needs. There's a lot that we can talk about Maslow's needs. I'm sure that at some point we will have discussions um, going on about how in our particular school some of our students haven't gotten past the physiological needs they're hungry or they don't sleep often or they might they might be getting that but they don't feel safe either at school because of bullying or maybe at home for whatever reasons they have maybe they don't feel safe in the community maybe the news scares them because of all the police brutality that gets shown and they can't reach this social aspect. Our job as part 
of their life as educators is to make sure that we help them get as high as they can, if not to the self-actualization, at least to the esteem. And that way we become more of guides and less of instructors, more of, of um, I don't have another word for guides. That was pretty much all I've got. So anyway, I'm sure we'll have more discussions about that, but Maslow's needs.